Dozens of new jobs are coming to Albemarle County. Governor Glenn Youngkin stopped by Seminole Place today to announce the expansion of startup AgroSphere's. NBC 29's Dryden quickly takes a look at how that company is looking to change the future of something that affects us all. It's our top story at five. These machines are just one one thousandth of the size of the new ones that will soon occupy this warehouse. Increased production space, constructing a research and development facility and a demonstration facility for new products. All right here. Really awesome. Really awesome. Agrospheres is looking to start a new generation of crop products, one that moves away from chemical pesticides. The same way you brew some beer, um, we have bacteria make these compounds that are toxic to certain uh, bad pests, but they're, they don't harm bees or butterflies or the beneficial pests. This all started with an idea from these two UVA grads after they saw how harmful pesticides can be to both people and wildlife. So we thought if we could practically reduce the chemical pesticide usage without sacrificing yields or a farmer's upside, that would be a really great way to work on a company and a project. Then they started testing the product, teaming up with wineries. It worked so well that the goal is now to expand out from Virginia. Instead of one product being used worldwide, you could have a, a product for maybe the eastern U.S. or maybe Europe or Asia. So I think the future is coming where we can really increase production but increase our sustainability. Affecting the way crops are grown across the country. Agriculture technology is on the move. These guys are leading it, and Virginia is at the forefront. Three. The expansion will bring more than 50 new jobs to Albemarle County. Governor Youngkin approved a $200,000 grant from the Commonwealth's Opportunity Fund to help the county with the project. In Albemarle County, Dryden Quigley, NBC 29 News.